Hello everyone, welcome back to what will probably be the last video of Cholo. Uh, I've turned up the game's audio a bit because uh, the game does have an ending. The, the beginning of this game is quite underwhelming actually because uh, you just, you're just kind of thrown into it. You just suddenly, <clears throat> you're just suddenly in that place and you're controlling Rizzo the rat. But uh, there's, there's a bit of an ending. It's not, don't expect any fireworks or anything, but it's, and there's an ending with some uh, dialogue and some stuff going on, so I turned up the audio just so that we can see that. So it's time to go here to the lighthouse, uh, but the lighthouse is fairly heavily guarded, and I think that um, if we just send Igor in there now, yeah, I think he's going to get his butt kicked because there are a lot of uh, hostile robots there. So let's go ahead and get Goat. Boy, that really gets my goat. No, it's Gort, of course. I, was, I just like humorously reading his name as Goat. I guess you can you can truthfully say to some extent that this game is Gort Simulator. Yes, I, I know it wasn't that funny, but I had to say it because I find my own jokes funny. Somebody has to. All right, so let's see. It's clear a path out here. So blow up anything that's shooting at us. Um, yeah, see, there are quite a few of these. This this building is like probably the heaviest, the most heavily guarded building in the game. Yeah, just around every corner there are a couple more of these things. So you have to you have to be careful. Igor wouldn't have been able to just walk around these things; he would have gotten killed. All right, here we go. So here's that computer. So we're done. Goat is done. Gort is done. He can, we can get him out of the building and send Igor in to see what's on that uh, on that computer. All right, Igor, do your thing. So we need to walk through all this wreckage and find the computer. All right. So what's on this computer here? Nothing. Nothing at all. Have we just wasted our time? Well, no, we haven't. As it turns out, what you're supposed to do, and I don't know how you're supposed to figure this out, but what you're supposed to do is take these two hack programs. I guess that kind of story about that hacker going to the lighthouse to do something was a clue. But yeah, so you're supposed to uh, take these two hack programs. Here's the first one. Stick it on the computer. Take your other hack program, your hack program number two, and stick it on the computer and watch what happens. The two programs you uploaded have created a new RAM pack. The two programs you uploaded have created a new RAM pack. And what is it? It's the Queen program. Queen of the Waves is ready for you to command. Naval. Orange. I want it orange. Okay, so we can delete these now. We don't need these hack programs anymore. That's all they're good for. But let's get the, uh, let's, come on. Let's get this Queen program. And what does that do? What does the Queen program let us do? Well, if we go back to our robot inventory and just look through the robots. Yeah, we have these two camera robots, but um, there's the dock. There we go. There is the Queen. Just click on her and she is ours to control. Now, okay, you can see where she is on the map. You can see, she, so when I was trying to find her last time, I don't know, I don't think, I'm wondering if she appears when you do that, I don't think that's the case. Though I think she, I think she, I think you can still find Queen sitting there even before you unlock that program. I think I just wasn't in the right place to find her, or maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, so with Queen, uh, if I just press W to move forward, you'll see Queen actually moves fairly quickly. She's a speedy boat, that one. And I think, yeah, if if you keep going, you get into this ridiculously irradiated area. But uh, what we really want to do is, yeah, get here to this island here. And uh, there's not much on the island other than that building. So we need to get inside the building. Now, Queen can't move on land. So what we have to do here <clears throat> is um, go to those docks that we had earlier. Because remember, there was a teleporter on one of them. Let's just find... Teleporter in range. There we go. Teleporter in range. So I'll just send some random... Let's just send Rizzo. Where is Rizzo, actually? Rizzo is still... Uh, oh, Rizzo's still way out here. I'll send Rizzo out because he's a little faster. 
And he'd be, he'd be, he would be even faster than this if I put that speed up ram pack on him, but I didn't. But let's, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and use Rizzo because Rizzo uh, should be able to... I think Rizzo should be able to do what he needs to do. Wait, where am I going? I need to go. I need to... Uh, ugh, do I not have anybody west of the bridge? Because I'm going to need to get onto the... I'm going to need to get onto the west side of the bridge to uh, to pilot that boat to get on that ship. That, which is just a bit annoying if... Well, alright. Warning. Damage levels are critical. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use that cheat again. I guess I didn't have to. Maybe I had. Maybe I, I could have sent Gort, but he would have been slower. So let's just let's just wait for Rizzo to get there. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is have Rizzo get out to where the boat is. And um, the way the boat teleporters work is it's just a normal teleporter. So you remember with the with the other teleporter for this island here, like I said, I, you had to have a robot on both teleporters and then the robot switch. But the boat teleporter, strangely enough, worked just like a normal teleporter. You just just put the robot on the teleporter and boom, he teleports. But you have to have the boat there. That's that's the, the, the trick. You have to have the boat in range of the teleporter. And then uh, when when a robot steps on the teleporter, he will just just magically... Uh, Warning. Damage levels are critical. Just magically teleport into the boat. Well, it's not it's not magic. It's, it's science. Teleportation is science. It is not magic, of course. But... Uh, well, science fiction, I guess. But, uh, yeah. Uh, and that should be... Yeah, and then once we have the boat, then we should be really ready to pretty much end the game fairly quickly, I think. Then we really... Uh, then we really should uh, not have too much left to do after that. We just need to go to that island, and once we get to the island, we will be pretty much sad. Let's just see how... Oh, Rizzo's... Okay, he's almost... He's almost completely self-repaired, so let's go ahead and get Rizzo out to where the boat is. And... Yeah, then we will be almost done. I should have... I should have probably... Put the speed up ram pack on Rizzo to make him a little faster. He's, I mean, he's decently fast, but still it gets, gets kind of tedious waiting for him to walk across the whole map as we're pretty much doing now. Yeah, I, I perceive that a lot of game would prob a lot of game. A lot of people would probably find this game very boring. A lot of people would probably say, yeah, this game is just like walking around in all these very samey landscapes. There's nothing to it. I guess it does take a certain type of person to appreciate this game. I guess if you're somebody who appreciated the original Cholo on the Commodore 64 or the other machines it was available for, then you'd probably like this. But otherwise, for a lot of people, they would just look at this and say, what the heck is this? So there's the boat, and I just need to step on this. On teleporter. And there we go. So Rizzo is here on Queen now. So he has uh, mounted the Queen, and he is ready to do his business with the Queen. So I will switch to the Queen. I think it's... Is that F10? Yes, it is. Okay. And we will send Queen on her way to, uh, wait, I'm going, oh yeah, I think, oh, I'm thinking, going, I'm going the right way, aren't I? Yes, I think I am. Okay, cool. All right. So, there we go. Here's the island, and I need to find the dock. I think the dock is on the east side of the island. Teleporter in range. Yes, teleporter is in range. And if I switch back to Rizzo, he automatically just zaps onto the island. Oh, you know what? I think Rizzo's gonna die. Damage levels are critical. The radiation here is too high. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I'm sorry. Uh, we're gonna have to do that again with a different robot. I didn't realize the radiation was that high. I should have known. So Rizzo uh, regenerates. If Rizzo ever dies for whatever reason, he will just, uh, he will just uh, respawn here at the beginning point of the game. But that doesn't help us much. We need to... Uh, darn it. I was not thinking about that. I'll need to, I will need to get Gort after all. I will need to get Gort uh, over there because we need somebody who has a high radiation tolerance. I forgot about the radiation on that island. I apologize, folks. My apologies. Um, that is quite, quite annoying because now we have to wait the eight and a half centuries that it will take for Gort to, 
for Goat to walk across the map and to get to that ship. Okay, it should really work this time. It should really work this time. Yeah, Rizzo is the only robot who respawns. Uh, if Rizzo dies, he just respawns to the starting point. I think any other robot, if the robot is destroyed, then that's it. The robot's just gone. You've lost that robot. You cannot uh, get that robot back unless you load your game or restart the game. Um, but yeah, we, we won't need... We won't need... Uh, anything after we get to the island, I think. Or, well, we'll need to do one thing on the island, and I think we're almost, uh... Then I think we should be almost set. Almost. Yeah, you need a certain amount of patience to appreciate this game. I mean, these... these... older games... I mean, this is kind of a newer game. I mean, for me, this is a newer game because, you know, it's a... a Windows game that uses the mouse and has obviously much higher resolution graphics than what you could get with a Commodore 64 or something like that, but I mean... It's based on an old game, and you know, these kinds of old games with their older gameplay, they definitely require a certain amount of patience, and that's something that a lot of people don't have these days. And I, I can kind of understand that, you know, if, you're, if you've just come home from work, you know, if you've finished a long day at work and you want to uh, relax, you don't want to spend, like, hours repeating the same thing in some silly game. Or maybe you do, some people do, so I, I mean, I guess it depends on the... Depends on the person. Uh, now, where is the dock here? Oh, I think that's... I think this is it here. Yes, it is. Alright, so F10 switches back to Queen. Sorry, folks. We are... We are almost done. We are almost done. I think. I want to say I promise, but I don't want to promise because I'm not sure that I might be forgetting something. I don't think so, though. I don't... There's mu there's not much to forget, honestly. Like, when, at your... Teleporter in range. Teleporter in range. Once you're at this point, honestly... On teleporter. There's not much else to do. So, yeah. So, when you're on Queen, you can't move around. Like, you can't actually move... Well, you can turn around, but you can't move around on Queen. You have to wait until Queen gets to a, uh... A teleporter, then you switch back to the robot on her, and she just, uh, and, and the robot on Queen just teleports off onto land. All right, where are we? We're okay. We're here. Okay, we're almost done, folks. We're getting there. Ride, robot, ride upon your robot teleporter ship. In range. Be amazed at the radiation on the island. Ride, robot, ride upon your robot ship. To on your way to this island that looks like a dick. Actually, the tower does, not the island, sorry. Anyway, all right. So yeah, you can see Gort just walks around here and he's completely impervious to the to the radiation. So, all right. So this is where we, um, so remember when we, we got those two camera robots. One of them was looking at this island so we could see where the island was. And one of them was looking at a drinks machine, like a soft drink dispenser. And I think there's the camera, and there is the soft drinks dispenser. Let's get a drink, shall we? And as it turns out, the soft drinks dispenser is not for getting drinks. It is a robot that you can control. And the password, you might guess it if you remember the password files that we saw. The password for this, there's a password called 7up. Well, that's this one. 7up. Password accepted. Password accepted. All right, so now... Now, what's the key for this one? I think it's F8. Yes, no. Sorry, that's Doc. What's this robot? Yes, F9. Now, you can see the robot is called Coke. Or Coke. So, okay, I was trying to get past Gort, but... Come on. I can't get her... G Gort is in the way, and so it keeps thinking that I'm trying to get them to interact with each other. I'm not. I'm just trying to get... Koke to walk out of here. Koke! How do we get out of here? I want to get Gort out of the way. Oh, there's a computer here, by the way. Um, and this computer happens to be unlocked. I guess they thought, let's not have people send Igor all the way here just to read what's on this computer. So yeah, on this computer, there is just this file. Memo, tip. Coke is most effective when flown in at high speed. Good for destroying big things. This message will self-destruct in 30 seconds. I think that last bit is a joke. I don't think this, this computer will actually self-destruct. I mean, I guess we can try it. Let's see what happens. If we just wait here for 30 seconds, is it going to blow up? I don't think it does. I think that's just a... 
I think that's just the, the developer's little joke. I'm just watching. I'm, I'm just watching my my clock just to just to wait until. I don't know exactly how long I've been looking at this, but I think it must be almost 30 seconds now, right? I'm pretty sure that it must be. Uh... Yeah, now I'm pretty sure it, it definitely has been 30 seconds by now. Okay, so yeah, that's just a joke that it doesn't it doesn't self destruct. It's just a, just somebody having a little bit of fun. And the other little joke is. What do you suppose this Coke machine is good for? Well, as that clue might have intimated, this Coke machine, this drinks machine, is an airplane pilot. I'm not even joking. You, you think you think it's a joke, and well, maybe it is meant to be a joke, but it's it's true. Wait, am I? Oh, I think I went the wrong way. Ah, this is a dead end. This is a dead end. Uh, yeah. This, this this soft drink machine is the airplane pilot that we've been waiting for. I told you before that we need an airplane pilot. We've just found him. Or her. I don't know if the Coke machine is a him or her, but we found we found it. Wait, what's in this building here? I don't remember if there's... Is there anything inside this building? Is there even an entrance into this building? Doesn't look like there is. Okay. Yeah, this... This, uh, this island is just like... It's just for that tower. You just go into the tower and get Coke, and that's it. We're done. But um, we have Coke. And now, based on what I've told you, you can probably imagine what we do from here. We get, uh, we take Coke out to the airport. And, um, and that's it. So we can't step directly under the boat. We have to go into the teleporter. On teleporter. Yeah. Switch back to Queen and just make our way back to the land. And the very obvious action to do now is the correct action to do now, and that will be the, the final action of the game. So yeah. That was that was it. This has been show or wait, where's the where's the Where's the dock with the teleporter on it? Oh, I think it's a little east of here. There it is. Teleporter in range. All right, Coke. It's time to do your thing. Let me go ahead and save the game here, just in case. Just in case something goes wrong. Um, Please select a game save position. Game saved. All right. Yeah, we are basically uh, we're basically done. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and finish this. Coke to the rescue. If you want to get up, up in the plane, Coke. If you want to win, win that game, Coke. She don't lie, she don't lie, she don't lie, Coke. I don't know if Coke is a boy girl, is a boy robot or a girl robot, but at least according to the song, she is a girl, so I'll go with that. And you can see Coke is uh, pretty slow. Coke is, I mean, if, if I really had to spend a lot of time with Coke, I would probably put that uh, speed up ram pack inside to go a little faster. But I mean, we're, we're literally just like about to, the end, to end the game, so is there, uh, I think it would take more time to try to get the ram pack to Coke than just go where we need to go. By the way, I didn't mention, where I was just walking around there, you saw those little, uh, you saw a bunch of little robots. They looked like Rizzo, except a much smaller, like even smaller versions of Rizzo. I think you can capture those robots, like you can actually grab them and, and you control them, but there's no point. Like they can't really do anything. Okay, there's the plane right there, so hold on. Let me go ahead and save the game again. Please select a game save position. Game save. It is actually a good idea to save the game here because you get one shot with the plane. If for whatever reason you crash the plane, which is easy to do because it's kind of hard to control, then you can't get the plane back and that's it. You can't win the game. So yeah. Oh, I didn't get the uh I haven't gotten the plane yet, so I need to put in the correct password. Okay, if I remember right, the password for this plane is Virgin. So like Virgin but with a W instead of a V. So W I R G I N. Password accepted. Alright, password accepted. Go inside. Warning. 
damage levels are critical. Yeah, so this this is a high radiation area, and Coke almost died from the radiation, but that's fine. We're, uh, we're ready to take off. So, so for whatever reason, you use X. So hold X to accelerate the plane. I think it's the only time in the whole game you use X until you can take off. Now you can go faster than this, but you don't really want to because the game, the, the plane gets very hard to control if you're going super fast. So I think this is already plenty fast enough. Now I just need to find that pyramid and deliberately kamikaze into it. And that's it. That will be the end of the game. So let's get ready, folks, if I can find it in this fog. Oh, I think that's, yeah, there we go. This is it. This is it. I don't know why it does this, why it shows you the tanks, like there's something special about the tanks suddenly, but it does. This is the end game, this is the end sequence. It gets better than this, this is weird, but it gets better. Come on, enough with the tanks, holy cow, come on guys, I mean we can get past the tanks now, come on. Warning. Breach detected in Sector 1, Level 1. Emergency protocols activated. Have I broken the seal? Can we get out? Affirmative. What's the radiation level? Processing. Radiation levels are within acceptable parameters. However, caution is advised. Is it safe for us to leave? Affirmative. You have completed your mission. Computer, give me a voice link to the entire bunker. Citizens of Shaw, this is Jared. It will come as a surprise to you all that I was not sent away. I have been on a secret mission to regain control of the surface of the bunker. Radiation levels are acceptable and all security robots have been neutralized. Citizens of Shaw, I did it. We are free. It's time to reclaim our city. I don't quite get what this part is. This looks like that same pyramid, except it's been somehow redone, like it's been redesigned to be more colorful and more... Well, actually, it's less colorful. Now it's it was purple before, now it's brown, but like more uh, high definition. It's been, it's, been, it's been redesigned to be more high definition, I guess is the word. Like it has textures now instead of just being a, a wireframe pyramid. I guess that hole is the hole that we blew into it when we flew the plane into it. And there you can see all the people who have been trapped inside the underground bunker and now they're taking their first tentative steps into, into freedom, into the sunlight in who knows how long. I think that's it. Yeah, and then this part just, just the music repeats. I think there's no end to this, like it just keeps repeating that same music and, and spinning around the pyramid and showing the, the credits, so that's it. So you have to press escape to quit it. Uh, yeah, that's it. This has been Cholo. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, yeah, I, I don't quite get the plot. Uh, I probably would understand the plot better if I'd read that novella at the beginning, but basically the citizens, the people of this land are free now and something, something, blah, blah, it, it, uh, you're a hero or we are heroes, we saved the world and whatever, something happened. 
I don't know why they keep just circling around the stupid pyramid. Like, you'd think it might be nice to see the rest of this uh, landscape that we've been seeing the whole time. It might be nice to see the whole landscape in this kind of high definition. But I guess that would have been a lot of work to remodel like, and put textures on the whole game world just for the ending credit sequence. That would have been more work than people were willing to put in, which is understandable. So, that's that. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Cholo. Thank you for watching. Hope that you enjoyed. And, uh, yeah. I will uh, talk to you folks at a later time in a later video for uh, some other uh, game about something. Until then, folks, take care of yourselves. Hope you're all doing well. Thanks again for watching, and goodbye for now.